If you have a favorite TV show, you may have wanted to watch it somewhere else other than the TV, like your iPod or on your computer. Now you can buy these shows from iTunes or other similar places, but that can cost a lot of money, especially if you want a lot of the episodes. If you have a Motorola DVR with FireWire port, you may be able to stream that content out of it into your computer for free. Today I'll show you how to do that. So to do this, you'll need five things. First of all, you'll need a Motorola DVR with a FireWire port on the back. Second, you'll need a show on that DVR that you want to record into your computer. Third, you'll need a FireWire cable that fits both the connection on your computer and on the back of your DVR. Fourth, you'll need a computer that's Windows and has an open FireWire port. Fifth you'll need the amount of time your show runs for. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website that I put in the description. It is a Comcast web page, but you don't have to have a Comcast DVR to use this. This will work with pretty much any Motorola DVR, as well as these other ones that are listed here. So you're going to want to click download here, and at the top you'll see a big download link. You want to save those files, and while it's downloading, you might want to read over these directions down here. So after the files are downloading, you're going to want to open the folder and extract all. Now once this folder is open, you're going to want to take note of its location. So if you know that, you can go ahead and close the window. Now you're going to want to connect the FireWire cable from your cable box into your computer. On your DVR, there may be two FireWire ports. From some reports online, I could tell that on some DVRs only one of them works, so make sure to try them both. So when you plug the DVR into your computer, you'll see this found new hardware. Now I get this security warning, I think it's because I reinstalled like Service Pack 1 on Windows, so I'm just going to say yes. Now you'll have this found new hardware wizard, and you're going to want to install from a specific location. Now, you're going to want to uncheck search from removable media because it's not there and check include this location in search. Now, you're going to want to find the downloads folder most likely where you stored your download that you extracted. From there, you'll find the drivers folder and press OK. Then you press next. Now, you'll get this message that warns you that it hasn't been tested for compatibility, but you're going to say continue anyway. Now you'll let the drivers install, and it'll finish. You'll get another wizard, and you'll say install the software automatically recommended, and click through that again. Say continue anyway, and then you should be good to go with your drivers, but I have this error that says the device cannot start. So if you get that error, right click on my computer, then properties, then go to hardware, and device manager. Here you'll see the Motorola AV slash C panel device. That's your DVR. So depending on which one has the error, you're going to want to right click on it and click update driver. This did the trick for me. So after you've done that, you can close device manager and close the system properties window and go to your downloads folder. From here, you can open the FireWire Drivers folder, and it'll have this software called CapDVHS. When you open that up, you'll see you can select your tuner device up here and select how long you want to record for. And now you want to go over to your DVR. So now that you're over on your TV, you're going to want to find the show that you wish to record onto your computer. If it's live, you don't have to do anything. But if it's already recorded, you're going to have to go through the menus to go play it. Now you can go back over to your computer. Now that you're over at your computer, 
you can give a file name for the recording. So I'll just say test. And you can specify how long you want to record for. And when you're ready, you can just press record. And it will start recording and it will give you information. And as you can see, I'm recording 1920 by 1080. So this will be a pretty large file. This is why you'll want to make sure that you have a pretty good sized hard drive in the computer you're using for this. When you're done with your recording, you can press stop and you'll see that the files are located in your C drive. Now, this is an old computer and they don't play very well because they're full HD files. So if you're using an older computer like me, you might want to transfer these over to another computer before you try to play them. Alright, that's about it for this video. If you have a different brand of cable box that this trick works on, leave a video response. Thanks for watching, and bye.